Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the U Switch node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got our little setup here. And we've got a few more shapes. So we've got our capsule. Then we've got a sphere. We've got a little cube. So in order for us to uh, switch between these little shapes if we want for look dev or we actually want to animate the switch, we can use the U switch node. So we're going to bring in a U switch. And the U switch node is pretty much the same as the regular switch node, but it's dedicated for uh, the USD environment. So we're going to go ahead and place our U switch node here. And we're going to put our first shape, our second shape. And if we connect this to our merge, Now we can go between our input zero and input one and see our two shapes. So we can go to our configuration and we can add an extra one. So let's add three because we want to add our little cube as well. So now if we go back to our controls, we've got our cube that populates. So we've got our capsule, our sphere and our cube. And we can go to this configure button right here and we can rename them if we want. Capsule. Sphere. And cube. And on our controls, they're named correctly. So capsule, sphere, cube. And down here we have export so we can export it as a separate stage. Now, one thing to know is there is a little glitch. Sometimes you're going to see this sphere in the middle and that's somehow coming from this switch node. There's a sphere in there. I'm not sure why, but there's a sphere in there. And sometimes in your renders, you will see that sphere sitting in your uh, actual render. So either disconnecting it, reconnecting it will make that disappear. Also, sometimes going to your U transform adding the U transform and searching for that switch node. Let's go to all. So you can see we have this switch transform right here. And if we select that and we move it, it's going to move everything. But sometimes that makes that little sphere in the middle disappear. And if you ever do need to transform your switch, that's a good way to do it with your U transform because on your U switch node, you have no transforms, but with your U transform, as long as you pick that switch X form, you can uh, transform it, rotate it X, Y, Z, however you want. So that is the U switch node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.